in a word, uh, the Commonwealth is a network. Uh, we live in an age of uh, information, global network, uh, networked uh, details of a fantastic kind, and we no longer, the world no longer organized in empires and blocks, and we are part of this network, so are the other 53 Commonwealth members. Uh, it is multi-faith, it is transcontinental, unlike many other blocks. Uh, it is, embraces rich and poor in an equal relationship, and of course there is a fantastic uh, cement of common culture and common understanding and values. All of these things make the Commonwealth the ideal model for the 21st century. Well, I think uh, there are many phrases, but I think it's got to grow wings. It's underfunded, it's underappreciated by member, many of its members, including the UK. Uh, it has got to be uh, a much uh, bolder organisation that recognises its innate strengths. Um, when I say grow wings, I don't see why it shouldn't have a more vigorous uh, foreign policy aspect. The EU, after all, has a foreign minister and an active foreign policy. The Commonwealth could have similar kind of involvement. The Commonwealth could take a far stronger role in the whole development pattern of the globe. Um, the Commonwealth is basically uh, ready to take off, but it's not being supported the way it should at present. So it's got to raise its game. Um, I think it could have associate members, as well as new ordinary members. Uh, some of the giants of the world are waiting on the sidelines not to join. I mean, I'm thinking of Japan, for instance, 14% of the world's GNP. But they, could, uh, uh, they would be very happy to be observers and associate with the Commonwealth. Um, it is uh, an enormous opportunity which we have to exploit. Uh, a much more central role. The, the, the British um, foreign policy system has been paralysed for the last 30 or 40 years by the belief that somehow we're being squeezed out of Europe, that the wonderful continentals are doing things and we've got to get in on their game. Please could we join your game? This is a complete misunderstanding of the way the world is working. Power has shifted to Asia and to the booming Asian economies and may soon shift to Africa as well. Um, that's where our Commonwealth network links take us uh, and therefore while we remain very active members of the European Union we should strengthen our foreign policy links with the Commonwealth because together we can do great things not only economically but in terms of peace and stability, peacekeeping and international uh, global stability.